Well, before we get into this video, I want to mention that I'm not a finger drumming expert at all. People on YouTube have asked me to make a finger drumming tutorial, and here it is. I'm not Jerry Malis, I can't do any advanced finger drumming techniques, but I can do it my way, and that's what I'm going to show you. Now, even if I attempt to sample drums off of records, I put them on the pads the same way as all the machine kits are. So from pad 1 to 16, it's kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, open hi-hat, another kick, another snare. No, that's a cowbell, uh, forget about that. Another hi-hat, three toms, another, that's a tambourine, but whatever, a crash. That's another symbol, and in this case, two rides. I use one of the Abbey Rhodes vintage kit that comes with machine when you get it. I don't like these drum sounds at all, but thanks to the toms, the crashes and whatnot, you could almost make it sound like a real drum kit. And the way I play my drum patterns is actually pretty simple. The right hand just keeps straight eight notes like this. And the left hand also plays eighth notes, but the ones in between, so it becomes sixteenths like this. But let's just start with the right hand at first. So I'm playing the straight eighth notes on the closed hi-hat, and I'm adding the snare on the third and the seventh hit. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's pretty simple, right? What I do then is I just have to add the kick drum. Uh, in this case, I can add it on the f 1 and say 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the kick, snare, and the higher together becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So when you've learned this, you're going to find that quite boring, right? So the next step is to try to move around the kick drum to different places on the beat, but still keep the hi-hat and the snare in the same place, like this. I would suggest practicing this step for a long time, until it really gets into your muscle memory and you can start thinking about other stuff when you play the drums. When you've gotten that far, I think it's time to introduce the left hand. So as I said before, the left hand moves the opposite position of the right hand. So when you press a pad with the right hand, the left hand should be up in the air and the other way around. So to exaggerate, the movement is going to be like this. Right? But you're gonna keep a lot of those kick drums out of there, so... A better suggestion would be something like... And if you watch my right hand, I'm still just playing the 8 notes on the, on the pads. And the left hand is playing the 16th notes, the 8th notes in between of the other 8 notes so to speak. So that's pretty much it when it comes to my style of finger drumming. Now what I do to make my drum pattern sounds a little bit more dynamic is I use the low kick and the low snare. Normally I play that with the left hand together with the right and I think that really makes a difference. Sometimes I like to use the open hi-hat just in the end of a bar or just before the snare hits like this. And there you have it. That's basically how I make all the drum tracks for my beats. Now, if you found this helpful and you want to see me make even more advanced tutorials and stuff, just hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. This is rock and roll. Let's play double time for the hi-hat. One, two, 